is more than able. Father in heaven, we thank you today for the power of prayer. Jesus said men are always to pray and not to lose hope. It is so easy in times like these for us to lose hope, to think that God is not with us. And sometimes we tend to give up and we tend to get discouraged, frustrated. And sometimes we just, Lord, push ourselves in to that little corner, telling ourselves that God is no longer answering my prayer. But we know the devil is a liar from the very beginning. And we know that, God, you're answering the prayers of your people today. Sometimes you say yes, sometimes you say no, sometimes you say wait, but God, you are answering. And so on to thank you, we can always approach what a God we have this morning. Can always call upon you, not because we are better than others, but we are redeemed by your blood. We are saved by your grace. We have been delivered by your power. And that is why we have a testimony of God's transforming power. What he can do, what he's doing, and what he will do in our lives today. Lord, we bring the needs of your people before you. Lord, needs are important because you specialize in needs. Whatever the ailment, whatever the needs, whatever, Lord, that situation, God, we bring them before you. And we know that you're answering every prayer today. We pray for that young man. Oh God, we pray for that young lady. We pray, oh God, for that child. We pray for our little children, even as they're with us today in church. We pray for mothers. We pray for dads. We pray for school children. We pray for teachers, nurses, our doctors, Lord. We, we pray for, Lord, different organizations. And oh God, even like the Toastmasters Club, we pray for them today. And Lord, we pray for the needs of our people today. Lord, Lord, visit us, we pray. We need a heavenly visitation. God, you're here with us. You're not distant away, but you're listening and hearing our prayers today. And that is why we can call you Abba Father. Continue to outpour your spirit upon us today. If ever a time we need you, surely we need you now. The times are dangerous. Lord, the, the, the times we're living, oh God, people are afraid even to live. Some people would rather to die than to live. Unsure about the future. But we are glad when we place our confidence, our faith, our trust in you. God, you lead us unto victory today. So we pray that victory might be for your people today. May they shout from the mountaintop, Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. Thank you for the many prayers you have answered. Thank you for those who are sick, you have answered prayers. Lord, you have healed many. Those who have gone for surgery, you have brought them out, oh God, triumphantly. And Lord God, so many testimonies of God's goodness and God's faithfulness. And all we want to do is continue to bless your name. We pray for island Antigua and Barbuda, or islands of Antigua and Barbuda. We pray your blessings. We pray that you'll give direction and leadership, Lord, to those in authority. We ask that you'll lead us, Lord. We cannot go forward unless you're leading us. And that is why we are praying this prayer this morning. Lord, supply the needs of your people. We pray that you'll be with them. We think of those who have lost their loved ones. We think even our neighbor down the road, Earl, who has died and gone on. We pray for, oh God, the family. We pray for the children. Oh God, we pray in Jesus' name that God, you'll visit them. And we pray that somehow you'll intervene so that we might see those boys. They will grow up to fear God and to love you. Lord, so many things happening around our island. And Lord, we know that we need our Heavenly Father. Only you alone can change plans. And you can change the hearts and lives of men. And as we place our confidence in you, you're able to help. Continue to bless us as a congregation. Lord, meet the needs of your people, whether financial, whether physical, whether it's emotional, whether, God, they're going through just their own personal Gethsemanes. May they know they can trust you, knowing God, he never fails. Continue to have your divine way in this service and continue to watch over us. And may we continue to put our faith, our trust in you, knowing that you'll never fail. In Jesus' precious name, and the people say, Amen. You may have your seats.